hit the red button to subscribe and press the bell icon on youtube app and you will never miss another update hello namaste welcome to anand india channel in this video i will take you to the core life fort The Korlai Fort is located near Ali Bag. It is at 110 kilometers from Mumbai, 170 kilometers from Pune, 24 kilometers from Ali Bag. This is the Korlai village located at the base of Korlai Fort. This fort was built by Portuguese in 1521. Just after Korlai village you can see the concrete platforms used to dried fish like mumbils In front you can see the hill on which Korlai fort is there This coastal road near the Korlai fort is extremely narrow On left there is a beautiful Arabian sea and on right the Korlai fort is there We reach to the base of Korlai fort You can see there is some space available for parking just outside the Korlai lighthouse. At the Korlai lighthouse there is some construction going on. So we decided to move along the fencing wall of lighthouse towards Korlai fort. In front you can see the hill on which Korlai fort is there. As I walk I will brief you about the history of Korlai fort. The Korlai fort was built in 1521 by Portuguese with permission of Ahmednagar Sultan. The Portuguese tried to capture the fort after the death of Burhan Nizam but the army of Ahmednagar Sultan occupied the fort in 1594 the Portuguese captain whose name is Abranches with 1500 soldiers and 1500 native villagers recaptured the fort the Korlai fort was very huge in 1594 but Portuguese destroyed it and kept only the central tower and the central battery intact because they have very less manpower to protect the fort Some part of the fort was built by Portuguese later in 1687 the king Sambhaji Maharaj tried to capture the Korlai fort but failed In front you can see the Korlai lighthouse from where some small stairs are built towards the gate of Korlai fort In 1739 Maratha's army captured the fort It remains with Marathas until 1880. After that, British conquered the fort. These stairs are recently built using cement and concrete and brickwork. From here you can have amazing view of Korlai lighthouse. Let us move forward. We reach near the gate of Korlai fort. From here you can see the bastion and fortification wall of Korlai fort. Let's go inside. On right there are some bastions loaded with cannons and on left there is way towards the sea. 
we will explore left side first there are two small gates built in a bastion from this gate you can see the detailed construction of porlai fort The width of Porlai Fort is around 30 meters and length is around 850 meters. On sides you can see openings for the guns. Let's move forward. There is one small bastion. From bastion you can see the lighthouse, the beautiful Arabian sea and on right there is another big bastion. Let's move towards that bastion. There is the gate towards the sea. From here you can see the cannons mounted inside the bastion. The bastion near the sea is known as San Diego Bastion. This is the fortification wall of Korlai Fort built in 1521 by Portuguese. This bastion near Kundalika river is known as San Francisco Bastion. On right there is a port where Kundalika river meets Arabian Sea. Let's go back to explore the south part of Korlai Fort. From here you can see the bastion. This is the bastion located at the center of Porlai Fort. On left one cannon is there. On left you can see the fortification wall has a walkway made for guards of this fort. In front you can see a small white Tulsi Rindavan and in front there is a Lord Shiva temple. This is the Lord Shiva temple. There you can see a bastion which I will explore while going back. On right there is underground water storage tank. The troops of Korlai Fort used to drink water from this water tank which was known as Santa Cruz in Portuguese era. On left you can see water harvesting system to direct flow of water into the water tanks. Over the top of gate you can see the inscription of Portuguese era. Near the bastion there is another gate towards Korlai village. Let's go there. On left there is a gate and in front you can see the white building of a church. On right there is another inscription of Portuguese era. This is way towards the gate. These stairs will take you to the Korlai village. Let's move back towards the church. 
The church is around 10 meters wide and 25 meters in length. The ceiling of the church is missing. The chapel of church has signature Portuguese style of architecture which can be seen in churches of Goa. You will find link for video for churches in Goa in description below. Let's move towards back side of the church. From the fortification wall on right, you can see the beautiful coastal road of Korlai Fort. On the gate of next bastion, there is another inscription indicating golden period of Portuguese empire. Let's go towards extreme south end of Korlai Fort. The Korlai Fort has total 11 doors, 4 outer doors and 7 inner doors. In the ruins of building on right, you can see remains of a small temple. Let's move forward towards south end of the fort. This bastion has a V-shape. Let's go towards the left end of this V-shape bastion. From here, you will see clearly the V-shape of this bastion. From this location, you will have beautiful view of the sea, the fishing ships and on right, a beautiful view of Korlai beach. This cannon has a shape of goat on the rear end. This hole is known as touch hole of a cannon provided to ignite the propellant charge. Let's go back from the way which goes over the bastions of Korlai Fort. This bastion near the church has four cannons. This bastion has a typical circular shape. Let's go towards that bastion using the walkway built over the fortification wall. From this bastion, you will get the clear idea about the length of this core life fort. I hope you like this video. Click that thumbs up button and subscribe to Unknown India channel. Thank you for watching. You can follow Unknown India channel on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Hit the red button to subscribe and press the bell icon on YouTube app and you will never miss another update.